Hey man, it's Brookie. How's it going? How's the sound? Can you hear me? I'm going to play uh, a little circle of uh, fourths using some bass chords. I'm going to start on an A just because. A7. I'm hitting a root, third and a flatted seven. That's an A, C sharp, G. Then I'm going to go to a D7, like something like this. Because I got F sharp, C, D, leaving out the fifth. Then a G7. That's a G, B, F to a C7. Something like a... Might leave that third string out. That's a G, C, E, maybe a B flat. Or you could put it down here. But there'd be no root, which might be okay. Next, the fourth of C is F, so I'll do an F7 like this. Leave out the third unless you want to do it like this. Yeah, F is... F, C, uh, E flat. Leaving out uh, maybe the third, whatever. And a B flat's like this. That's a F, B flat, D, A flat. The fourth of E f or a B flat would be E flat. Maybe I'll jump up here. Or down here. That's pretty cool. That's a good one. That's major. That's a B flat, E flat, G. There'd be your dominant seventh with D flat. Oops, I hit an E string. All right, the fourth of E flats, A flat, I could do this. Maybe, uh, to a D flat seven. G flat seven, you could do this. To a B seven. E seven. A7. That's a circle of fourths. Now I'll just uh, play through it. circle of fourths using dominant seventh playing the lowest pitch that I could uh, comfortably hit without you know stressing out too bad that was really a cool exercise to explore that lower corner of the neck and if you can get through the circle of fourths without um, you know try to stay off second and first strings and you know, try to stay underneath uh, the seventh fret you know don't go over that that's an interesting little uh, neighborhood to, you know, be fluent with or at least be able to hack your way through. <laughs> That's about what I'm doing, but uh, it's pretty fun, you know, it's a kind of a fresh sound. My guitar teacher told me he's going to show me some of that stuff, so I thought, ah, maybe I'll just, you know, it's not really his job to show me every detail. He gives me the idea and I go for it. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do with you is give you the idea of some notes to mess with and do your own thing and make your own discoveries. Use your ears. A little bit of formula 
work there, you know, root third fifth, a triad, plus a flatted seventh. That if you don't understand that, uh, that's okay. That'd be something good to get under control. Um, it's just a little formula. You know, you're using the first note of the scale, like do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The major scale. You're using the root as that's the one. So like a C chord, the root is C. Root, second, third. You're going to use the third. If it's a C chord, your third note in a C major scale is E. One, two, three, four, five. Your fifth note in the key of C is G. So a C major triad is C, E, G. The root, third, fifth. That's, man, you'll hear it. It's really great. And then we, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh note in the key of C is uh, B. So B is the seventh of C. But when we say C7, we actually mean we flatted the seventh. So instead of a B, it's a B flat. So to make a C7 chord, you need the root, third, fifth, and the flatted seventh, which is B flat. So it's C, E, G, and B flat make the C7 chord. And if you leave, let's say you leave the, uh, the fifth out, leave that G out, that's okay. You can do that. That's, in fact, it's cool. Leave the third out. Okay, we can, we can kind of fill in that with our ears. You don't have to spell the whole thing out in giant capital block letters every time. You can leave stuff out. Maybe hit only two notes. It's going to sound very cool. Three notes, four notes, or five or six, because you might have two roots, two fifths, or two thirds, or two sevenths. So any, see you've got all these numbers you can play with. It's just a little bit of formula and then you put it to work and find it on the fretboard, slide up, slide down, and that's kind of on you. If you have questions, I'll help you. And, but it's cool, you'll love it. You'll, I think you can do this by yourself or with some books or a little video work. But you, ultimately you gotta get on the guitar and pick them out. That's what's gonna be fun. And when you get it, you're gonna be really proud. All right. I think I got another student coming up, so I'm going to get ready, get those triads, and have some fun.